Hey guys, just thought I would share something that I put together yesterday and today. I've seen a lot of videos out there showing rooftop tents that are being taken on and off uh, vehicles, but I haven't seen many with hard shell rooftop tents. And the reason why is those hard shell, hard shell tents like my truss made here, they're 200 plus pounds and they're very heavy. Um, and especially awkward to do it with just one person. That's exactly what I set out to do. You can see I made a, a cart that puts the, the rooftop tent at a slight tilt so you can roll it around um, and it won't tip over. That same cart then gets leaned against a frame and I used a, uh, a winch a cordless drill winch that draws it up to the pivot point which is um, just just about half of the width of, of the tent once it's up there all I do is just get in front of it and just carefully uh, rotate it and that puts the tent on top of the roof on top of the um, the roof rack, so I say. So part of the reason why my rooftop rack or rooftop tent is so heavy is because we have an improved uh, mattress inside it. But still, even just a, as a, a stock tent, these things tend to weigh over two hundred pounds. Um, once you're at this point, it's a little awkward, you know, and, and especially if you leave the bolts in the, in the tent itself, um, it's a very tight fit. So you'll have to do some wiggling to shift the tent towards the center of the roof. But I like doing it, uh, that way, leaving the bolts in because, uh, it makes it so much faster to take on and put on or whatever to take off and put on my roof rack so now here's the process of um, taking it off so what I do is uh, first thing I do is I put the frame up against my car I make sure that I've got some sort of padded um, you know like blanket or something just to just to protect the paint you can see it's not just a ramp. Uh, it's also got um, two horizontal um, bars, basically. Um, so they're the ones that actually sit on the top of the car. And then the rest of it's all covered. Um, here I'm taking the shuttle, basically the cart, and I'm sliding it up to the top and pushing it underneath the tent. If you make... Uh, the parts of your cart um, the right dimensions in my case they were three inches um, it, it's so much easier because you can just slide the cart um, the back of the cart directly underneath the tent um, the first step to uh, getting it back down is to reconnect the winch leave it in the locked position and then what I'm doing is I'm taking a small, uh, kind of a narrow board. It's maybe two inches by a three quarter inch. And it's maybe three feet, two and a half feet long. And all I'm doing is I'm just using it to kind of pry the rooftop tent towards the edge of the cart. Um, I could get on the other side of the vehicle and push, but... I find that it's actually easier to do it with a stick like this. You probably want to wrap a stick like that with some cloth or some padding. Um, same thing, just to protect your paint. But you can see, once the tent is, um, you know, rocked back into the inclined position, then all you have to do is just uh, use the reverse on your on your winch and let the thing down. The beauty of this design is not only you can 
put it on, take it off um, by yourself. But when you're letting it down, it's going onto the ground, which is ready to then be pushed around on casters. Um, and if you have a hard shell tent, you know what a, what a pain in the butt really it is because those things don't stand straight up and down on a regular moving cart. So the moving cart that I have has a, has a slope face on it that I made as well. So uh, if you have any questions, um, just let me know in the comments. Um, last thing you can see, basically I nest this this frame right on top of my cart and I have some pins that I stick in there and that way I can keep all those parts together and just roll the whole thing away and put it away.